patch notes update 29.1 ladies and gentlemen um finally coming we're finally going to make holes on rondo but let's have a little look um it comes to console on the 18th pc tomorrow if you're watching this now we also have our little map rotations here where is this naeu this is our map rotation here where we have Erringle fixed again and then week one rondo vikendi miramar sanhok Erringle miramar tego rondo destin Erringle vikendi miramar tego you know so kind of again Karakin and Parama are in here, Destin here, where we could have more Sanhok, PUBG. You know, we like Sanhok. Rondo is making its first appearance into ranked play as well. It has a 10% chance um, of showing up in ranked play. If you are into Rondo, it might be a little tough one. We'll have to see. As we get Rondo's brand new destructible terrain feature, which is going to be uh, quite incredible, different. We'll have to wait and see. But... um. We can dig quite big holes, I believe. You can now destroy terrain to create cover when engaging in battles within open areas. This is a massive game changer, by the way. Massive. The max depth is 1.3 meters, which is a pretty big, like, pretty big hole, really, isn't it? Like, it's decently sized. Um, you can make it with a frag grenade, mortar, panzer, sticky bomb, C4. Sticky bombs, they're not on this map, but I guess that means they plan to put this on every map, maybe. Uh, vehicle explosions will make a hole, and you can use a pickaxe if you want to get your Fortnite on. If you're looking at getting your Fortnite on, you can get your pickaxe. Um, if you destroy terrain near an external located wall, the terrain beyond the wall is also be destroyed. So if you like buy a wall and start digging, the wall on the, the floor on the other side will also get destroyed. I wonder if that means you can go under. Does that mean you could go underneath? Or would it be like that's just going to stay solid and you you're just a hole on the other side? And there's like this weird dip or can you sneak into compounds? <laughs> oh dear. I feel like there's going to be some trolling with this. This will be quite good fun. Like making a hole and then driving a car over it and hiding underneath the car. Like there's going to be some definitely trolly things with this in general, which I think will be quite fun. Uh, items in the area affected effect will not be destroyed and said it's sort of as we convert into drop items. So I guess if you have a shield up, it will go back to a folded shield on the floor. Same with the emergency pickup. So there you go, which is kind of weird. But there you go. There's the pickaxe, 60 damage, 40 weight. Use it as a melee weapon. The EMP has been nerfed. I don't really see the use of the EMP anyway. So stupid mechanic in the game shouldn't really be there, but um, it doesn't happen past phase two now, um, which is kind of weird. But there you go. Uh, Magic cover flare has also been nerfed. You now only get two triangles. Rather than the free triangles, um, they have been shrinked in size and they also come down much slower, which is kind of weird because I actually really enjoyed the falling triangles of death. They were a lot of fun. It's quite a shame they've nerfed that. Um, the fix of the in-game challenges where some of them were a bit stupid and a bit too hard, like loot itself AD, probably like get a flare, that kind of thing. They're kind of stupid. And some other changes to them as well. They've changed some of the areas on Rondo. I don't even know where this place is, but you can see they've lowered the walls and stuff like that. Changed some of these statues to make it easier to shoot past them, I guess. I'm not too sure. This looks like the bot location where you can kill all the bots. Um, and there's some other areas as well. They've added some bridges in in some locations to help you get across. Added a bit more terrain in some other areas. The mini map's been changed to show these new locations. We're getting a Scar AKM buff. The Scar is getting a higher uh, rate of fire to 650 rather than 625. The horizontal recoil is decreased by 4% and the vertical recoil is de um, decreased by 4% as well, which is kind of crazy. So the, the Scar should be competing maybe with the M4 now. We'll have to keep an eye on that. And the AK has had its damage increased by one. I already love the AK, already think it was goaded. So, you know, I don't know how much one damage is going to change it, but that should be a lot of fun. The Panzer has now got an equipment animation where you have to like load up the site and have a look at the site. So there's that as well. And the spawn rate on a Vikendi has been reduced around the cable cars where they were everywhere, where Sam would be if you're on Vikendi. And the general spawn rate has been increased on Vikendi. So instead of them all being in the same place, they're now around the map kind of in, in general. Um, the sound of gunfire when equipped with suppressor is highly increased with the MK12. So you can hear the MK12 suppressed. Firing from the driver's seat of the car, which we don't really have a nerd. It doesn't really map. We don't see this that much on console. Um, but it's now harder to shoot from the driver's seat once again. You've got a more limited angle. And it also, the, the 
dispersion, the dispersion, dispersion of the bullets um, when firing from the driver's seat of all vehicles. So kind of a car nerf. I think it matters on PC, but not to us. So it's kind of weird. Uh, we're getting the Degay bike, which will be in the lobby, and you guys can't wait to listen to that. Um, it's just going to take over as a skin, and it'll be available in all of them. Um, the new rag season's coming. Uh, Hall of Fame's been changed a little bit, and they've also updated bots to make them smarter. I don't know if this will make them harder in casual mode, but it may do. Um, that is pretty much it. We've got some new clothes coming here, and um, some new medals, and that's pretty much it. That is our PUBG update. Let's have a little look at the PUBG video they've given us. And then we will play some PUBG. Welcome to update 29.1. I can't full screen it. We introduce the new environmental destruction. We're watching through here. And a new weapon for Rondo. Fresh gunplay adjustments. And an iconic collaboration that's sure to catch your eye. Let's get right into it. Is this AI? Are they using AI talking out? First, as outlined in our 2024 roadmap. The environmental destruction feature will be first added to Rondo. Use the pickaxe. It's pretty cool, this. A newly added melee weapon to carve out new attack I love it. Or look, at the, so defensive this, look at the size of this. Look at the size of this trench. You're going to see a four-man team proning, mining their way along. <laughs> oh, dear. In the open field where you just can't get them. We hope this will unlock the possibility for players to experience an enriched layer of strategy and tactics. Furthermore, Rondo will undergo general enhancements and bug fixes to Couple offer of a Rondo. gameplay experience. So stay tuned. Whole game digging. Get to the center Next circle. The just make this trench around your area. Adjustments. We've heard your voices loud and clear. In update 29.1, expect buffs for the AKM and Scar L, along with nerfs to the MK12 suppressor sound, firing from the driver's seat, and the Panzerfaust. Gear up for an elevated PUBG experience with these revamped weapons. But wait. There you go. That's not and the guy. We are announcing a grand collaboration with the renowned motorcycle manufacturer, Ducati. Race through the battlegrounds with unparalleled style, no, I meant to say speed, it. and sophistication. I've been saying it wrong. Wondering how to obtain these iconic skins? Check out the upcoming Ducati announcement for all the details. Spend money. Oh, sorry. And as usual, yep, check this the announcement. comes packed with even more content. Get ready for a new ranked season, a new survivor pass, bot refinements, and tweaks to the in-game challenges, the emergency cover flare, and the EMP zone. For the full scoop, make sure to dive into the patch notes. And we'll see you on the battlegrounds. Cool, that's a bunch of update. There we go. Sorted. <laughs> there we go, chat. Oh, dear. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Have you come and watched us live on twitch.tv slash GamerNacho? You haven't. All you have to do is go over to twitch.tv slash GamerNacho, click that follow button, and you'll get a cheeky notification every time we go live with PUBG content. Thanks so much, and we'll catch you next time.